on Sunday? Frank, Lesbian, how's the boy? Fine, Zeke, fine. She took my boy with her.
What's a young fellow like you doing out here? Now, now, don't upset yourself. You just have to learn to choose your toys more carefully, that's all. Here, watch. Here. Cut this off, this is the end you want. There you go. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there, that's what you wanted all along, isn't it, boy? Yeah. Now, it seems you have to come with me, doesn't it? Oh, yes, the two of us can have a fine time riding across the desert. You like that idea, boy? First, I have to give your mother a decent funeral. It's a man's Christian duty. Someday you'll realize how lucky you are to have been born in America. Yes, sir. Very lucky indeed. Keep digging, my boy. Someday we'll get out of this damn desert forever. We'll build our own cemetery. Somewhere far away from here. Keep digging. Keep digging, my boy. So I spent my childhood digging. I came to realize how much I owe this strange but kind old man. He's a grave digger, so we have to ride from town to town picking up the dead. He gave me his name, John Appleby. He tried his best to make a man of me. Gave me an education of sorts and a gun. And here we are. Here I am, still digging away. 83, 84. Well, at $30 a head, that's $2,500. Not bad, huh? Well, aren't you pleased? When are we going to cash them in? Now, don't start that again. Look, for every corpse, we get a piece of paper. Johnny, this is just as good as silver. And when this war is over, the government will back this up 100%. Well, when's the war going to be over? Now, who can answer a question like that? Yeah, well, with our luck, the, well, the other side will win the war. Well, what if it does? It's the same difference. They're dead or all alike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't ever have a penny on them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The dead can't take it with them. The living see to that. You know... Remember that fellow that carried his entire fortune in his mouth? Thirty beautiful, golden, dirty teeth. Those were the good old days. But with this war, men have lost respect for everything. Every time I hear the sound of a rattlesnake, I, I have the sound of death inside me. And I'm afraid I'll have to kill or be killed. I wonder why. Often the old man and I come on hard times. When there's no corpses to bury, there's no money for food. The old man, he's figured a way out. If it's corpses we need to get by on, why, that's part of his plan. Oh. Well, Johnny, there it is. Be careful.
<laughs> Think you're funny, huh? Well, let's see how. think you're doing? <laughs> I see that you're a fellow official. I only just now dropped in here for a little light refreshment and I find four corpses. How shocking. Sure dead. I was just beginning to gather together whatever valuables they might have for safekeeping in case some thief should come along and I'd be unable to uh, send along the valuables to the proper authorities. Sir, I am privileged to be the Official undertaker for the entire territory, having been appointed by the Governor General himself. I must have a receipt. Okay, you can take him. That uh, raises a slight problem. You see, uh, I am an older man in his sunset years, and you and your friend are obviously in the prime of your lives. And I'm sure you'd be delighted to help me to take their bodies and place them in the funeral carriage. Shirts, one or two with bullet holes, 50 cents. Three pair of boots, one almost new, say $5. Guns, mm, $10. With a belt, 12, 12 50 Not bad, huh? Tomorrow we can sell it to the first person we meet. Is there any of this you want? No. You seem to have an eye for that shirt. I don't want it. You don't have to bite my head off. What's the matter, Johnny? Well, we're not going to get rich selling old clothes. Now, don't start that all over again. For once in your life, you're going to listen to me. We need lots of money to be rich. And lots of money is in banks. One bank robbery, one job, just one. And you're rolling in money. That's money, not receipts, that's money. Think about it. Now you think about it. We can be building our own funeral parlor.
Johnny, I want the best in the world for you. But not at that price. District Commissioner. I know, Johnny, but we mustn't run any risks. Try to keep your mouth shut. You talk an awful lot. No, I don't like him either, but he is the commissioner, and we have to make our official rounds. It's our job. If he has a corpse, it's our duty to pick it up. to dress him up, just to bury him. Johnny. Uh. Barbs. Didn't he have anything on him? Not a thing. What are you in for? Pick up the dead fella and get him out of here. He's beginning to stink up the place. What you waiting for, the, uh... We're talking to the man. Got my receipt. took you to Yucca. There's a part of your education I seem to have neglected. What's that? Girls.
location, there's a great whorehouse. Will you see it, Johnny? It even has a bathtub, red curtains, and brass beds. All the women you want. You're right. I do need a woman. You sure we'll find her where we're going? Huh? Are you sure? sleeping in beds. And we won't even hear the howl of a coyote. We're going to be real respectable people. As soon as we get to town, we'll hire some workers to clear the land. And we'll plant some grass. Nice, soft grass. Green. And the funeral parlor, a mansion where people can visit their beloved dead like a holiday. And flowers. Yes. Like a park.
to take a bath first. In my country, they say, the more the men, the more the smell. You are quite a man, you know, Poggin? So, tell me, what are you thinking now? Hmm? For sure you have thought a new way to hurt me, hmm? You can drown me in the well. But this would spoil the water. What a horrible thing. You don't want to waste the water because you love so much to take your weekly bath. I'll be inside waiting like the men who waited for you in New Orleans. Poggy. And you had them just the way they were, didn't you? Dirty, smelly, drunk. Did you ask them to take a bath first? Huh? I told you I don't like them. How many times I must say to you? It was just a job. To work in the saloon, you must drink with the men. You must help them gamble. They say to me, a woman makes a man feel better when he gambles. They spend more money. Like you. You like it when I was looking over your shoulder and bring you luck. And when you win, you say, here, Maria, here's a tip. And when you lose, you say, can I have it back? I never gave money to no other man, Poggin. But I know you don't believe that. You think all the men are the same to me, don't you? Well, you are right. I just came here and start with you and rob empty banks that have no money in them only because I wanted to become an outlaw with a price on my head. Take a bath. I told you I ain't taking none bath. I know, I know. Your mind is made up. And when your mind is made up, nothing can change it, right? Right. Even when you have a plan so crazy, we can both get killed. Look, if you're afraid, you can leave right now. We have no ties. I didn't ask you to come, did I? No. A year later, you're starting to nag just like every other woman I ever knew. You said you wouldn't ask anything of me. You just wanted to be with me. 
And because we have a couple of bad breaks, you don't like this idea, you don't like that idea, you're afraid if we do this, we'll be caught. What'd you think life was gonna be with me, paradise, huh? No. I knew it was going to be an hard life. But now it's different. Now I never know what to expect. It's just the way you like it, isn't it? No? You don't like to know what's gonna happen from one minute to the next. But tomorrow, when we open that box and you see all that gold in there, then you're gonna be telling me how smart I am, aren't you? I've seen him come by here twice. You were drunk. I never heard of such a wagon. You'll see. You just do what I told you. But they will not believe it. From nowhere, I come out and wave my hand in the air and say, hey, fellows, please stop your wagon. My husband is hurt. Leave your gold and help him. They will believe it? They are so stupid? I don't know, but other people get away with it. It's up to you to do it right. How will they believe you're wounded? There is no one out here to shoot you. Uh, tell them I was cleaning my gun. So? And I shot myself, that's... All right, damn it, you tell me how you do it. Oh. This is not the matter. If you want me to cry and say my husband is wounded, okay, I will cry. I don't think you could do it. You didn't cry when your own mother died. How do you know it? You didn't stay around. I don't like funerals. All right. You, uh, get on your horse. What for? Do it! What? Get on your horse. What do you want me to do? Just hush up. Think it. All right. All right, move over to there. 
Where? Over to there! Johnny. Where do you think I'm going? Meet a beautiful lady. <laughs> well, bring us some water on the way back, will you?
didn't, I didn't mean to hurt you. Hey, you open the door for me and I'll take good care of you, huh? Come on. Just open it. You can do it. So just open the door and I'll save your life. So, open the door. You can do it. More. That's right. Reach, move, move. Oh, don't die on me now. Don't die on me now. Day's ride, Johnny. Wait till you see the place where we're going, Johnny. <laughs> so green and beautiful. Uh, all you've seen is the desert. This goal will make our dream come true, boy. Beautiful cemetery. When the war's over, we'll cash our receipts and we'll build our funeral parlor. Well, that'll be your inheritance, Johnny. You'll be a respectable man. The best catch for any woman anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've got lots of ideas. We're not going to use stick crosses for markers, but real marble angels. We'll have the most, the most beautiful cemetery in the whole world.
off your horse. Move over there. We'll see. You don't need that gun. I'll take you where you want to go. People have died. What are you saying? Things I hear, things I see. So you are interested in what happened to people? I know a story, a small story. You can even make a song of it. But this was not enough for him. He wanted the big job. And finally, he got it. It was an iron wagon with more than half a million dollars in gold. Dollar. I'm so scared. Let's make a deal. I will tell you where the wagon is. And you just give me your horse. Do you accept? I wouldn't go far with all that gold. We black people are all poor. No one else believes that a black man can own more than five dollars. We blacks are not even then. That's why I deserted. Now we are truly rich. We have all the gold of Yucca. And now this. Why, well, there must be a hundred of them. Maybe a thousand. A thousand receipts. How will we ever get them into the carriage? We'll have to make many, many trips. Many trips. How beautiful they are. We'll take them to our new cemetery. They should be very happy in our new cemetery. We don't have any new cemetery. Who's going to cash in the receipts? By the government, of course. Surely you don't doubt that. Now help me load them on the carriage. <laughs> Can't you see these are only soldiers? Nobody, nobody's going to pay us to bury them. 
If you won't help me put them on the carriage, I'll do it by myself. Now, wait a minute. Kindly stand aside, please. Bring your clothes and a horse. Listen, you still sword me? Ah, shit. Well, why don't you talk? Not me. Maybe. One day. Sorry I slapped you. All right. I forgive you. Whew. Glad that's over.
Lucius. I didn't ask for your name. I buy horses from the cavalry. What army are you selling for? Po folks. What's all this for? Where are you heading for? A long way off. <laughs> You're gonna come along with us. this. You just knotted your own rope.
Commissioner. What are you doing so far from home? I'm asking you the same question. Give us that corpse you got there. Can't have him. Why? Because we need him to hang this nigger with, that's why. You don't need a corpse to hang a black man. That's the law. Get moving. The law says he's got to be buried. That's right. I missed one. It's a pity we couldn't get the commissioner to sign a receipt for his own dead body. My share of the gold. Goodbye. God bless you. I, I gotta find her.
grow. Give me that. I remember when you had a different kind of welcome. The time is over. So you still hate me, huh? I don't hate you. I just forget you. I wish it had been that easy for me. You know, when you're alone, you get a lot of time to think. What I did to you was wrong. I know that now. You know it too late. We can start a new life. The only trouble is we didn't have enough money. Well, now we're rich. We got all the gold we're ever looking for. Half of it's yours. Stay right there. You're still the same liar. You'll never change. It's the truth, Maria, I swear it. It's right here. Now, what else do you want? I want a man better than you. Thank you. 
inside slow down slow down don't you know that if there ain't no roots can't no flowers grow the man in the middle of the road can't make up his mind racing time trying to hide the trouble all down inside slow down mister slow down slow down slow down don't you know If there ain't no roots, can't no, no, no flower grow. Take what you can. Without guilt or shame. Then too late you'll find you've wasted your time. Where's love? Wasting time where's love? Wasting time where's love? 